Alright guys, how's it going? My name's Dave, DLC Dave, and we are back. Episode 38 of Rise of the Phoenix. Today we're playing Pompey. We're playing Portsmouth in League One. It's been going pretty well. I'll show you the run of games we've had now. We, after the 7-0 win against Exeter, not, nothing that's quite matched that yet. But after the 7-0 win, we were able to beat Watford. 1-0 uh, in the uh, EFL Cup first round. It was doing at the top of the championship, so that was a... Very, very good result. Um, I then maybe got a little bit cocky and dis and then rotated and rested players for the South End game. And we lost 2-1. And not re we weren't really in the game, to be honest. We scored the consolation in the 92nd minute. Um, South End, as it happens, are very close to us in the league. So they are one of the better teams, as are Portsmouth, which is why I uh, wanted to, p to do this game. I think I did mention maybe doing the Coventry game, but as it turns out, Coventry aren't really a... A, uh, a threat in this league, whereas Portsmouth look like they're going to be pretty decent. So, as you can see, it's, been, it's gone it's gone pretty well. We got a 0-0 draw after that South End game, which was okay, away at Wigan. And then the rest of them have been fairly good. We did have a disappointing game against Chesterfield, where we were, we let slip a 2-0 2 -nil lead, really. Luke, Luke O'Neill and Chad Evans are getting the, uh, the two goals to peg us back. But yeah, it's been okay. We've got into a decent run now where we have not having to, well, we're not having to rest too many players and I'm trying to keep the side of the same as much as I can. So uh, transfer wise, as now we are through the, uh, the end of the deadline, nothing has happened. Uh, two players who aren't going to get every game time, I think. I think Andrew Walker was, well, I don't even know what happened. He just seemed to go. I didn't accept a bid. I think... I don't think the board did it either. I think they just sort of agreed a compensation fee. I think I'm, I think I made a mistake in all honesty, but I'm not that disappointed. It might, it might have been good, but I don't think he would have uh, contributed too much when we got Josh Hutchins, who's only a couple of years older than him. And the one who went out was Luke Parr, who was okay. He was okay, he was okay. but again, another one. I'm, I don't really know what went on. I just I was so worried about concern that transfer deadline day going on, that bids are going to come in from my big players. I was just concentrating on rejecting them, and it ended up it, it, they just disappeared. It seemed to me anyway, but they've gone. Not not the biggest loss in the world. They've obviously not brought anybody in. No, none, none of the big guns have left anyway. So we've still we've still got Ansar, We've still got Bradford, Hutchins, Johnson. We've still got Sinton, we've still got Nathan Smith, and they're all pretty happy now, apart from Adam Kane, because he wanted to go to Arsenal. And uh, yeah, yeah, he's not happy about not, not being able to go to Arsenal. But that is his, you know, I can, I can understand it, but never mind. So yeah, Hutchings is back as well, as I uh, may have mentioned. He's back and he's starting to really pick up, make up for lost time. Now he's 18 years old and looks like he's going to be a very, very good player for us. And yeah, that brings you well up to date, I think. We're playing Portsmouth today. We do actually have the um, League Cup fourth round to come. I think it's the first I've actually re reached in the, uh, the EFL Cup. We're playing Birmingham. We're actually a Premier League team. The bottom of the Premier League, but they're still a Premier League team. They uh, went up to the playoffs last year. So that'll be a tough one. It'll probably be a game that I will, uh, next game I bring you, in all honesty. Just because, you know, they are a Premier League team away from home. Why not? Uh, we beat uh, Chesterfield, we, we got revenge on them really for them uh, pegging us back two goals. We were able to to beat them pretty comfortably 3-0, Emmanuel Lancer grabbing two. So I'm going to submit the team and we will uh, get into the game. Okay, so we're lining up with Bradford in goal, the uh, first choice back for, in fact this is the first choice team, I'll you know, uh, be honest, Bradford in goal. Hutchins, Gale, Johnson, Espinosa, Afori and Sinton in midfield, Weaver, Beachy and Smith, all in behind Emmanuel Ansar. Their team is going to a 3-5-2, 3-5-2 with wing backs. Interesting. Not 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 think I've come across this too many times in the uh, in the lower league, so wonder how we'll how we'll cope. Obviously Portsmouth are doing well, are doing pretty well in this uh well, they're doing a good start anyway, for only about what, eight, nine, ten games in or something, so there we are, we're at the uh, Phoenix Sports ground, looking fairly full, to be honest. Right, let's get into this. Let's get into the game. Obviously, we're in our all green kit as we tend to be, shooting from right to left. 
Now we've got a free kick here. Smith plays it in. We've had loads of space, but the shot was blocked. That was the chance, I feel. That was a you probably just took a little bit too long to get the shot away, and uh, he gave time for the, the Portsmouth defenders to come out and put a, uh, a good block in. But encouraging signs if we can get that much space from a uh, just a normal free kick. Okay, throw-in was taken to Smith, he plays it back to Sinton, he finds Beachy, Hutchins has it, he slides to Ansar, and Emmanuel Ansar powers the ball in at the near post, and that's his seventh of the season, and he does what he does, my new answer, Hutchins just sli slides him in through that channel, takes a touch, away from goal, but just takes a shot so quickly, touch and shot, touch and shot, the power on it just, just confounds the keeper, and he had some he had some big bids. He said he was only 15, 16. He had some big bids from Chelsea, Man City. You know, he's a, he is he is a proper star, I think. And again, it's going to be a real ass to keep him. I just, we, we we need to go up to the Championship at least now, I think. And then you can say, well, hold your horses. Let's, let's see how we're getting on. Ball in and sit oh, offside. I always check the linesman, and he was the flag was up straight away. To be fair. There was a cracking ball in from Weaver though, and Sinton making that late run. Right, another chance coming on here. We're playing very, very well considering the of our team in and around us. Smith has the ball, he gets across it into a beautiful ball in. Weaver should do better there, really. That's one where Paul Herbert would stick that one away. He's six foot seven inch frame. Corner drops to Ansar. It was kind of cleared by, cleared against him almost. And now maybe Portsmouth can lead a counter-attack. Evans plays in Jones. He has tackled and we do pick it up though. Can we uh, build something here? Oh, beautiful ball by Bichi. Answers clean through. Ooh. Manu. That was disappointing. That was, I didn't expect that one to, uh, and it's a penalty. Right. Uh, apparently that was a, there was a push in there. And so Portsmouth have, have a chance to score with their first shot on target of the game. It's Alex Jones, and he does score. Well, that's a turn up. Pompey have come forward once, basically. The referee has decided that that's where the penalty. Right, then they've got a free kick. They played it short to Yakubiak, and they've passed it through. And is that going to count? Yes, it does. They're winning 2 1 after their second shot on target. Second goal on three minutes. That was just awful defending. He, he, that looked very tight. <laughs> that looked very tight for an offside call, but nobody complained. So I guess, I guess it wasn't. Wow. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, this game seems to have just completely turned around. I, I, I was very confident. I was very comfortable that we were in the driving seat. But I thought I've had a bit of a rant at him, and hopefully we can kick on for second half. Right, let's just give him another extra one as well. Assertively demand more. Okay, all that's happened is we've had loads of yellow cards. So, I'm going to take off a four because he's, he's, he's not having the best game and he, and he gave away the penalty. I'm going to bring on uh, Perry as well. I'm also going to bring on Paul Phillips. And uh, do I dare make a third and watch FM just kill me? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to bring on Adam Kane, the one to away Arsenal target and for Espinosa. More, more attacking in from the from full back. He can play wide wide left as well and he just he's just, he's more of a winger attacker there. Maybe he'll have an impact. I mean surely we can at least get a uh, get a draw from this game. They've they've been they've been awful. Right. Passionately push forward. Come on guys, let's get let's, let's create something. There was a bit in the first half where we were just creating every single time we went forward. Right, we have a chance here. Hutchins has the ball with a throw in. Goes back to him. Can he get the ball across? He does. It's cleared initially. Jaswell finds Sinton. Hutchins again get the ball across. It's back to Sinton. That can't have been the chance. There's no way out of the second chance. Why is it? Why are the quick Why are the crosses always going to the edge of the area? That's not a cross. Right, we get the ball back though. Everyone, everyone's doing boots. I don't like this. Answer, please score. Good save by Norris, to be fair to him. That was the chance. We're not, we don't look to be creating a great deal in open play, though. It, it seems to be a bit like if things break to us, then we have, a, then we, then we do our best. But ten minutes to go here, and 
I'm not sure what else we can we can be doing. There isn't much else. And as time is going, it's ticking down. It looks like we're going to end up losing this game 2-1. I've got no idea where this where this school line has come from. We have absolutely we've absolutely dominated the entire game. But from a, a, a three-minute spell where the referee decided that they got a penalty for their player walking in the box, and then just poor defending. It may have even been offside. But we lose the game, and that brings Port up to level points. There's three, oh, three of us now, us two and Luton, we're all on 20 points, and we're only in top of the league on goal difference. So, not not a good not a good game, not a good good game for us. But it happens, I suppose. We are in a, a tougher league. This kind of games will happen where you can absolutely batter a team and they somehow scrape a win. But we have to just shake, shake ourselves down and get on with this. So the next game you, you will see, I believe, will be this Birmingham game. Playing against a, a Premier League side. Not one of the better Premier League sides, obviously, but still a Premier League side. I think it's one short of the quarterfinals, maybe? Yeah, that looks about right. Which is pretty good to be for, for a League One side. We were so close to getting thrown away at Liverpool. I, it was, obviously, it was us four left. And I was like, come on, Liverpool. Come on, Liverpool. Or Oxford, really. Because then it looks like we might get through. <laughs> Uh, league one as well so yeah i uh it's going pretty well we're fine because the referee is incompetent that's what that's what i take this, this to mean first time it's ever happened so that's what i, I would say that, that that's that's what's happened there referee is incompetent so here you go here's two and a half thousand pounds taken off you great anyway we will we'll, but anyway yeah we will join you back for that birmingham game and that will be tomorrow's episode uh, on Friday. Or if you're watching this in the past, just now, when you click on the next episode. In the past, in the future. I don't know what's happened. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just say Birmingham will be the next one. And I'll see you then. I'll bring to the end of this episode, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like. Follow me on Twitter at DLCDave1. And also hit that subscribe button as well, of course. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.